Hi, my name is Cal Bacon. Uh, I'm a housing case manager at Bay Area Turning Point, supporting survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. And uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. And I'd like to talk to you about um, emotional regulation and how important that is for everyone, regardless of gender, uh, in order to have healthy relationships and to communicate effectively your needs. Um, I think it's really unfortunate that you know, so many people are told how they should act or how they should not act. And a lot of that's based off of societal gender norms. So unfortunately, men are told either A, you know, it's very masculine to, and manly to be angry and, you know, to express your emotions that way, like yelling or, or with violence. Um, and violence, it doesn't always mean physical. Like violence can be verbally like verbal violence, attacking people in your life, you know, with harmful words and tones. Um, so that's like one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum would be, you can't have any emotions. So that's obviously unhealthy because we're human. We have emotions, it's natural. And if you try to suppress those, they're unfortunately gonna explode when you're not ready for them and when the people around you aren't ready to, you know, handle them. So um, my, my best advice to anyone is looking into ways to express your emotions nonviolently. There's a really great psychologist, Dr. Marshall Rosenberg, who um, developed nonviolent communication. I'm really a big fan of him, of him, so it's definitely a great resource to check out, but the basics are to figure out what do you need um, so in like a situation of, I need a cleanly living environment. Okay, it's important to express the need. I need a cleanly living environment for my personal health and well-being. And then you express what you would like to happen. I would like help with doing the chores around the house, picking up and cleaning up after yourself, whether it's, you know, this is your roommate or your sibling or your, your spouse you're talking to. And then what you, you know, so what you'd like for them to do to help you with this need that you have. And then just ask, you know, if they're willing to do that for you. So you express your need, what you'd like to happen, and, and you put that ask out there. That's really, you know, all any, anyone can ask for. I mean, and they can either, they can respond however they want, and you can have a dialogue back and forth and try to come to some sort of resolution. And, you know, nine, out of the, nine times out of 10, if that person cares about you, they're gonna care about your needs and your wants, and they're gonna be willing to work with you. If they're not, then okay, then you've learned something about that person. Like maybe they don't care, and maybe that's not a great relationship for you. So that's something to reflect on. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a good starting point, I think, is focusing on our communication and how we can make it as nonviolent as possible. And also always examine gender norms, because unfortunately they're they're not really good for men and women or anyone. So thanks for listening.